Hey guys, Patrick Foy here, and today we're going to learn how to make an animated clock look like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this so we can do it in less than five minutes. We're going to go up here, hit composition, new composition. I'm using HD settings, 1920 by 1080 with a 29.97 frame rate, background color, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to use my rim and everything on white, so you might want to have a contrast in color so you can actually see that stuff. So anyway, uh, we're going to go up here, click Ellipse Tool. We're going to double click that. We do not want to fill in this, so we're going to go over here and remove that fill, but we do want a stroke. And I'm going to do about 30 pixels. Go down here to your shape layer. We're going to change the ellipse path. Size, do about 800 by 800. It should be good. We're going to rename this rim. So this will be the rim of the clock. We can go ahead and lock that. Let's go ahead and do a rectangle up here this time. While nothing is selected, make sure nothing is selected. You're going to double click on this to create another shape layer. We're going to remove the stroke on this one. And we're going to fill this with white, whatever the color of your rim is. And we're going to call this ticks, hitting enter to change the name, by the way. So the ticks, we're going to uncheck this little link box again. I'm, I'm going to do 25 by 50 and then I'm gonna move this up so it'll be on not exactly touching but kinda of close to the rim change the roundness to about 20 and now we're going to add a repeater go down to the repeater I'm gonna do 12 and then transform repeater you're gonna hit a position of 0 and uh, in this case, I don't know if you knew that After Effects could do math inside the values, but this is a 360 degree circle, so we're going to do 360 slash or divided by 12 for 12 ticks. There you go. That was actually not too bad, right? Okay, so um, check this right here. Now we're going to go back up here, make sure nothing is selected, double click this again, and this time... I'm going to go with a red. This is whatever you want the minute hand to be, and I like to mute my color a little bit. So this will be the minute hand. Okay, go down here, rectangle path, uncheck that again. I'm going to do about 30. Eh, let's try 20. All right, and we're going to change this value right here a little bit. Uh, Shift, hold down Shift to move this up. Turn on your title action safe, and then we're going to shorten this a little bit. And I'll tell you what the goal is here. It's to get this little tongue right here, which by the way, now it's a tongue. Value of roundness of 12. Put it right here about maybe somewhere around halfway, just so it kind of looks cool. Yeah, I think that should that should be good. So now we're going to Control D or Command D on a Mac. This is going to be our our hand. And for this one, this is pretty simple. We're just going to grab up top here, hold Shift and move it down, right about there. So that's kind of shrunk it a little bit. Let's go ahead and cut on Motion Blur for both of these. And while these are both selected, hit R to bring up the rotation value. We're going to set a keyframe at one second, or I'm sorry, not even one second, just at the very beginning of this, and then at 10 seconds. And in 10 seconds, we want this to go around, let's say we want the hours to do 6 o'clock. So let's hit 180 degrees and then 6 times circling. That will give us this look right here. But wait! Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, like this video at the very least if you learned something. I've been Patrick Foy, this is Learning 5 where you can learn After Effects tutorials in 5 minutes or less. Until next time, see you later internet.